Floss Tube. I'm Lori Schickalone. Welcome to my craft room. Welcome to Once Upon a Stitch. Uh, today is Saturday, June 15th. It is my 33rd Floss Tube and I'm here to talk to you mainly about cross stitching. Um, this is a video about cross stitching. On my last video someone got lost and just happened to run across my channel and uh, he thought it was an interesting craft or art. Anyway, it's about cross stitching, some quilting, sometimes knitting, crocheting, but mostly cross stitching. So, a little update from the last time we were together. I got my hair cut because I told you I was going. Um, yeah, they didn't take much off. It's a trim. She straightened out my bangs. I told her um, my husband and I couldn't just get them perfect. <laughs> so, she understands. I see her every couple of months and uh, just for a trim and I haven't decided what I'm going to do. So maybe after the wedding I'll do something a little bit more drastic. We'll see. Um, I did go for my colonoscopy. Uh, thank you for the well wishes, everybody that sent them. Uh, there was a polyp. Luckily it was benign. Uh, I don't go back until five years from now. So that's all good. Um, we also baby, oh no, dog sat dogs at Ozzy uh, one day and uh, he caught a field mouse that was a bit terrifying for me and getting it away from him so it was an ordeal but we <laughs> we can laugh about it now uh, let's see uh, the diaper cakes I asked for recommendations and I got some feedback thank you I have been checking out Pinterest and things like that I've gone and bought a few different things for the cakes so Wednesday uh, Rebecca's mom and I we'll be getting together and assembling them and seeing how we, it goes and if we need anything further. Um, and I made one trip to Needleworkers Delight with my friend Alva. Hi Alva! Um, I know she watches and uh, we... I went there mostly for floss. Um, I needed quite a bit of floss since I'm doing Christmas stitching in July and uh, I'm kidding the projects ahead of time so I'm getting all the floss that I need and they didn't have everything so I did have to come back and order some from uh, 123 Stitch as well. So I'm kidding in the process of kidding my uh, July stitching and uh, since I'm talking about Christmas in July, uh, Nicole from Buckeye Stitcher and I are hosting a stitch along. Well, it's not a stitch along. It's anybody who wants to stitch Christmas in July. And she's going to hashtag it as Christmas Stitching in July. I'll link that below. No, I can't link. But I will write it below. Um, it'll be on Instagram. And basically, uh, now what I'll be doing is I'll be stitching something new every other day. So maybe I will stitch show what I'm stitching for that day. I don't know if I'll show the progress because I feel like I'll be showing you on my videos. So um, tell me if you want to see the progress on Instagram or you just prefer seeing it on um, on my video. Okay, that's it for updates. I have a few finishes, but they're based, some were previously finished that I kind of almost fully finished. And then two new starts that I had, I was able to finish. So let me share those with you right now. The previous finish that I had was um, a Lizzie string, a Lizzie Kate string. I believe this was the Buzzy string. And um, this is on with magnets um, and, and uh, sheet metal. And uh, that's how I finished it. Now I'm waiting for a tutorial from somebody, Priscilla or um, Java Girl Stitches, Cindy and uh, Christy, Christy, sorry, Christy, um, because they do some amazing bows. I, on the other hand, cannot master them. Uh, this is a ribbon that I just um, gathered up and put it in as a centerpiece. So that's the first one. A previous finish of mine also was, I believe this is Country Cottage Autumn. I forgot to look it up. Uh, let's see if I wrote it down. No, sorry. 
um, I will I will write it in the notes below and I got this board from Hobby Lobby and I stained it even though you can't see much of it I didn't want it as a raw piece of wood and when the time comes I'm going to put some kind of uh, bow of some sort here before I hang it up for um, autumn and I think that came out pretty cool okay those were my previous finishes and um, the first new start that I had this month was year of celebrations August and I have a board that I clip these on so this will be the August and again the bow that goes with it okay and then another start that I had this month was a Lizzie Kate spring oh I have the chart for that one here this is Lizzie Kate spring and I finished it as a pillow I left out the flowers on the bottom because otherwise it would have been even a longer pillow and I, I want something I mean it's I think it's big enough. Um, I stitched this once before for our New Jersey retreat last May and uh, Linda Smith, the kindred stitcher, uh, she she won this. I don't know if you swap one swap, um, but she got mine. And um, so that's the back and that's the front. Okay, those are all my finishes. On to what I started. Okay, last video I was showing you my um, stitching, a uh, stitch mania for autumn. And I had ironed a piece that I was going to show. And when I finished my video and I went in the other room where my ironing board is, I realized that I left it there and I hadn't shown you. So I did bring it to show you. This is the pattern. This is Little House Needleworks Early American. And I was doing Martha Washington's house and all those windows. <laughs> so I did not finish the block. In two days, I did not finish the block. That is where I've gotten on Martha's house. So let's see. I have stuff at the top and her name and then the rest of the border. Um, that was one that I wasn't able to show you or I forgot to show you in the last video and then the second day of um, the day that I videotaped for you I was working on Brenda Gervais Indigo Lane and I think I showed you the house finish but now I finished the top motif the side and the bottom bob urn maybe and uh, so I'll be moving across that way the next time I pick that one up. Okay, so this is my new starts for this month. One of them was You Had Me at Flamingo. Now, I am not doing these flowers in the middle here. I think they're flowers. And I had a hard time reading symbols my own fault. So I stitched different colors for different things and I'm okay with that. I was not going to rip it out. And um, there's another, the Tra La La collection is very difficult for me to read the symbols because it's the same symbol in three different sizes. Like it's a square and it's a tiny square, a medium square, and a bigger square. So I, I have to really pay attention. I had to do some frogging on that one, but this is where I am at, you had me at Flamingo. So, um, and what I did was, um, I took out those flowers, and I don't know if you can see it here, but I put a thread in there, let's see if it'll focus, that I know how many stitches I put a, a thread of silky thread that I can easily pull out afterwards and um, kind of washing it out. But um, I did it so that I knew where the f I was going to start the flamingo and then I would work off the other flamingos from there. S the center of those these blue flowers were not supposed to be that color. They were supposed to be the color of uh, the letters but um, because I did not read it properly. But I like it. 
So um, I'm going to finish the flamingos and do the bottom border. And uh, call it a day. I, I thought it was going to be smaller, to be honest. Um, I know I work on a 28 count, so that's equivalent to a 14 count Ada. But um, so making taking those sections out doesn't bother me because it'll be a little bit smaller. This new start was from um, Cheryl McKinney, who is. Oh, it's escaping me. Tranquil Stitches. Yes, Tranquil Stitches. Sorry, Cheryl. Um, she stitched this, and I loved it, and I'm doing this one, and I think it's just beautiful. So this is, I'm doing it on a blue 28-count Lugana. Let's see. I had it original. Oh, this is really washing it out. What am I going to do? Okay. It was supposed to be on ivory, but I changed it out at the last minute. And it's a very light, light blue. And I'm really loving it. And this is the pattern next to it. Let's see if I put the pattern closer. So that's how far I've gotten on the two days that I stitched on that one. Now, this is Rosewood Manor Buckleberry Sampler. And I started stitching it. And I wasn't sure I liked the fabric it was on. So this is this is it. So I had stitched the A and this motif and I'm like, "Oh, I don't know. Maybe it should be on a whiter fabric." So I went upstairs and got a whiter fabric and stitched it. Let's see if I go back further. And then I realized I liked it better on the original. So then the next day I continued on this one. And this this is a, I think I still have it. It's a Swigert Cashel Linen in Smoky White, it's called. So um, that's why you see those different waves of smoke. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to keep it on the original one that I started it on. And I think it is very delicate to me. So that's how far I've gotten. And then I think about how much time I wasted stitching it a second time and how much further I could have maybe gotten on the one I liked. X, oops. Oh, I put a little note here that if, just to remind people that if you um, do get a tra -la, la pattern to be mindful of the symbols, just so that you don't run across a problem that I did of stitching and then having to um, frog. And I'm doing it on blue again. And this time I was able to finish the bow, the clock, the flower, the mushroom, do this line across the bunny and his happy letter. So <clears throat> I probably won't pick this up until August now because of the Christmas stitching. So I have the whole bottom section and then this flower going up and another mushroom and some stuff in the middle. I love the pattern. Um, I just have to pay attention to, to symbols. And then the last one I worked on during this time was Lindy Stitches, There's No Place Like Home Except Grandma's. And I thought this would have been a smaller finish but it's 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 growing <laughs> there's no place like home I guess it's too sunny I worked for I the last time you saw it it was like basically right here 
um, here we go. And so I did the house, I started the grass, the path, and then I have um, some trees and flowers, and then the words, except grandma's. I think that I'm leaning towards bringing this in August to um, the New Jersey retreat. I have a few um, things in mind for uh, bringing there to stitch on. And this was one of them, and the other one was Home of a Needleworker. So, okay, so those are what I've been up to so far. So what's going to be happening the second half of this month? Well, these are going to be my projects that I'll be working on for the second half. I started this Bisconio and I had, I don't think there is not a picture of the back except the chart, so I can't show it to you, but I did stitch the Bisconio and I love it. So I just have to do the back, which is basically a square and some, some flowers in the corner, like these kind of flowers. They would be in the corners of the four corners and the outline. So, um, Oh, and this string is here to show me that that's the uh, upper corner, even though it's all the same. <laughs> so um, I'll be um, doing that one. I should get that done um, by the next time you see it. And I'm thinking of bringing it to retreat so somebody can help me put it together. The next one is the Tralala Collection Egg Hunt. It's in French, and I don't know French, but, and I love this one too. I'm doing this on a 28 count white Lugana, and that rabbit is adorable. So I'm looking forward to her, and uh, doing the pot of flowers on the other side, the bow. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love these patterns, uh, the Tralala collection. Liberty Lane, I will be stitching on. I saw um, somebody stitch on this and they made that middle white house yellow and it really looked beautiful, but I think I'm gonna leave mine white. This is how far I've gotten. I'm just up to that house. Um, let's see. There's a tree that I haven't stitched yet. So, um, and more bunting, of course, to go across. So, and I love this. This is on, what was this? Gingerbread. 28 count Lugana in gingerbread. I love the way it pops on there, those colors. I used um, some of Priscilla's suggestions on hers and um, I, add, I did a different um, blue on the top. I believe it was called Freedom from Weeks Dye Works. Next, I'll be working on Joy, and I'm going to finish this motif and hopefully the y, the leg of the Y. And this is how far I've gotten on Joy. I think it's so pretty. I loved it when Allison from uh, Stitching Social stitched it, and I just fell in love with this pattern, and she was so kind to to uh, gift it to me at the um, New Jersey retreat. We had a great time, so, and I'm looking forward to seeing her again this year. Then I'm going to be stitching Home of a Needleworker, and um, this is one of the nine uh, farm farm girl stitch. Um, had a little finish nine projects that you started, but I had not, I did not have nine started that I could even pull from. So um, I had one or two and then I started them and she said they were all right. And um, this was one of the ones I have to get finished. Joy is another one um, and it's gonna be close. I don't think I'm going to finish them, but I do love stitching on this one. It is on 16 count to bloom. Uh, from Picture This Plus, and I just love it, love it. So, and I think I'll be bringing this to retreat to work on as well in August. Next one is another Stitch 9 Challenge piece that may not make it. This is the Primitive Hair Snow White, 
And the last time you saw her, she was right there. So um, this would be a good project to bring to, um, because I can do just a lot of fill-in. Um, that's what this is. But I'm going to stitch on it um, in these next couple of week, days, not, not two weeks, till I, I meet with you again and see how far I get on it. And then, um, then August I have to decide. I mean, retreat is basically Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, people are, are arriving on Thursday. I don't know if I'll ride over there and see some people just to say hi. And um, That's all up in the air yet, but definitely um, Friday morning I will be there. So the next one that I haven't worked on quite a while was um, Puntini Puntini Welcome Summer in the Cabanas. And um, I haven't picked this up in a real long time. This is how far I've gotten on that one. So let's we'll see how far I get. Um, by next summer it should be done. I work ahead. I do not work in season. That was one of the questions um, I think it was Liz and Deb asked in their last video. Do we? Do I, anybody, stitch in season? And I don't. I stitch what I want to stitch. And other than what I did for Mania of stitching in autumn and July stitching for Christmas, Christmas, winter. Um, if I have time at the end of this month, I might pick up the Nora Corbett geranium. This is how far I've gotten on her. Um, the end of this month, the two days that I would have had to stitch on this is, is um, Amy shower, and then I have a baby shower of a cousin's um, daughter-in-law. So I don't know how I'm not making any promises to myself of what I'm going to get accomplished. Okay, a little bit more cross stitching and then I'm gonna show you a couple of quilts that I worked on and if anybody's not interested, they can say goodbye at that time. But um, I just wanna talk about two uh, floss tubers that I recently um, subscribed to. And one, what a lot of you know the her already, it's Kia B, K-E-A, B-E-E. -E. And uh, she has been making, started making floss tube videos, and she's known now as Ki. Well, her channel is Kia B, but when they come on, it's Kia B and Tech Guy. Uh, Tech Guy is her husband, and he has been cross stitching as well. So it's been a lot of fun uh, watching them and seeing what they've both been up to, and him getting so involved in cross stitching and stitching on black fabrics. Oh, I'm totally impressed. And the other one was Kristen, who is Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. Um, she has, I believe, three videos out, and um, she lives in Florida right now. I think she was from Montana. And um, excuse me if I made a mistake of what state you came, originally came from, but she's living in Florida now. She worked for Disney, and uh, she's she's cross stitching. But what amazes me is <laughs> she. She cross stitches a lot of her own patterns. She decides what she's going to want to stitch. She somehow does whatever she does on. I don't know if it's a computer or if it's by hand, but she designs the the um, patterns and she stitches them, and they're they're amazing. They're really amazing. Um, so I enjoyed uh, those two new people. I had a giveaway. Uh, for this for today and it was the high heels collection number two and I put it in a bag already so that it was kept, kept nicely um, and right before I, t I started this video I did the random num number generator and the winner is Carol Hebert 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 um, Carol I'm going to make a note a note at you on your note to me um, and I will need your address to mail that out to you. And what I was going to, oh, Carol, her favorite flower was camellias. So I, the question was, what was your favorite flower? And anybody who mentioned a flower, I put their name in for the drawing, and uh, hers was the camellia. Alrighty, that's all for cross-stitching. I'm going to get into quilting.
First I'm going to share with you these two uh, rolls and what they are are changing changing mats and anybody who wants to like just try quilting for the first time you can s have a sandwich of a fabric um, you put your batting down first then your fabric facing up so your batting goes down then your fabric facing up and your other fabric facing it. So the two top fabrics are the correct fabric. Then you sew all the way around just like you're doing a pillow and you leave a section over, you flip it up inside out and you have a, a, a rectangle, a square, whatever you want and, um, and then you quilt it. So I stitched all the way around the outside border closing the section that was left open and um, and then I'm, I'm and then you practice your quilting. You can try free motion quilting like this was done, or you can try your lines. Um, I put a ribbon so that it can be tied. And then the second one I made was the same concept, but um, it was a, just a little bit different stitching. It wasn't all over like the other one. These were just like ribbons and some flowers. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but. So that was the second one. And again, a ribbon at the end, wrap it up. And these are great for when you somebody has a baby and they're going somewhere and you place it down when you change your baby on whosoever house you're at. Okay, now, these are two quilts that I finished. These are the last two that I'll, uh, I'll be quilting for a while or that I completed and I'm not going to quilt for a while. Let's put it that way. Okay, the first one is this one. This is just a panel. And I'm moving back so that I could possibly show you. Oops, I don't want to show you my shorts. Um, this is a panel that basically I just layered it, quilted it, just straight lines on the diagonal. And then um, on the outside border, I did straight lines. I put a binding on it and was done. Um, that's how simple, you, you know, if you get a panel, you can try it that way as well. And this was the back fabric that I had to match the same animals. And I think it's so cute. And it, you know, it wasn't difficult at all. I mean, if, you're will, if you'd like to try um, quilting, that's a good way to start as well by a panel. Uh, this hat panel happened to have the side border, so it was even simpler. But otherwise, you can add a border and um, practice your stitching. Okay, the final quilt that I did was for this book. It's Rainbow Fish. Um, a lot of you might, I'm sure, are familiar with that. And I found fabric at Hobby Lobby that went with rainbow fish. Let's see, is it showing? It's not showing very well, is it? Maybe that's a little bit better. And at the top I stitched sailboats. Down the side I did, did a dolphin. I don't know if you can see that. A dolphin and then an anchor and an octopus and a crab. I don't know if the crab shows very well. And a snail. And then at the bottom, fish. And what happened was one day when the kids were over, kids, they're adult kids, um, I had them drawing. And those were the, um, that's the back fabric. And I took some of their motifs. Rebecca did the um, octopus. Um, James did. James did an anchor and a dolphin, and I think Michael did the crab, so I incorporated it. And what I do then is I draw it out on tissue paper. And this was the sample that I did so that I can practice, um, because you're, you have to drop your feed dogs and you're moving the fabric over those lines. So what I do is I trace it on tissue paper, I pin it to the fabric, and I, I um, I bat, I put batting in it, oops, put batting in it and a backing, 
Um, so you have the, now something like this is a lot easier because as you're stitching, you can easily hold it taut and move it. When you have a big piece, it falls off the table. It there's drag to it, so it's more difficult to, um, you know. And I'm out of practice to be honest with you, but um, I did the best that I could. It's handmade, and I hope they like it. So after you stitch it, even I even put this on the the one that I really did stitch. You just rip off the paper. <coughs> And you just keep ripping and ripping, and then all that remains is the um, the stitching. <clears throat> and I practiced what I did in the borders. I just did a, a meandering stitch, and uh, so so that's what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed your video. This video, I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Um, when we come back, um, I might be back earlier. I'm not going to be able to to a video on the 30th or 31st. So it's either going to be the 27th, 28th, or 29th. And I will have all my Christmas in July ready to share with you. Um, Nicole will probably have the hashtag ready to go. I will um, write it down below if you'd like to be stitching Christmas with us. Christmas or winter, um, either of those work. Um, it's a seasonal thing, out of season. So um, that's it. Until next time, I have to find my mouse to turn this off. Until next time, guys, take care. Happy stitching.